Okay, you've had a very, very, I would say, uh, long and storied career. You know, it's not the typical, okay, you played, you know, five years on this team yeah. and then four years. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've yeah, been yeah. in a lot of different places, right? You've journey, played in the Premier journey League. Man, journey yeah, journeyman, man. right? <laughs> but then when I, the reason why I don't want to use the word journeyman necessarily mm-hmm. is because that kind of implies like you bounced around yeah. versus yeah. traveled and had experiences, yeah, right? Yeah. So I, I always like to, to ask uh, players such as yourself that uh, have played in elite leagues, right, in comparison to MLS because I feel the American – audience you know we have some really really uh technical guys that really know the game mm-hmm. and other people that are just more like fans and it's all good right but they just kind of automatically think like uh, la liga or, or english premier league are like on a certain tier and then they just kind of poo poo mls right yeah. give us your professional you know what i mean from your perspective yeah. right because you yeah. played there no you're right you're right and uh you know maybe i was that guy too when okay. i first you know again coming from sierra leone mm. at the age 16 uh, moving into the u.s and that's when I finally knew what the MLS was. I didn't know what the MLS was. And mm-hmm. MLS had been going for a little bit before that. And uh, being in America, growing up in America, knowing the fact that I came from a culture where soccer, football, as we say, it's number one. And I come to America where I'm going to high school and playing, trying to play soccer, there's not much of it. You know, I grew up here in, in LA, I should say, Hawthorne, yeah. Manhattan Beach, around there, Torrance. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it's basketball and those things sure. that, during the the lunch break and all that. People are not really into it until later on I realized, I say, no, I mean, I want to play soccer. That's what I grew up to do and that's what I want to do. So, you know, I kind of venture around the Spanish crowd to play soccer and mm-hmm. that's what I did. Um, so it's a, it's a journey and it's been good. And when I say journeyman, to mm-hmm. me, it's a positive journeyman, mm-hmm. you know, and I love it and I owned up to that, to saying I've been in different places, you know. I've, so I started off in MLS and it was so amazing, but being able to wake up in the morning, you know, being a soccer fan, waking up in the morning all the time and watching the English Premier League. Right. You know, that's, you know, people that I follow, Didier Dogba and those guys, like being there, Thierry Henry, you admire the English Premier League so much mm-hmm. to the time when I got the phone call to say, I'm going to go play in the English Premier League. So I went there with this big smile on my face. Sure. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, so when, I, when it's game day, I know it's a Saturday. I'm like, so other people are waking up, mm-hmm. getting ready to watch, you know, right. us play because I'm in the English Premier League. So it's so amazing. And I did that. But while I was in, in England the whole time, a lot of players in England was asking me, how is the MLS? Sure. Because now the MLS was making the name. Mm-hmm. David Beckham and those guys was yeah, playing yeah. over here, you yeah. know. Um, so they were like, how is the MLS? How is this? You know, can I go over there? Can I live over there? It's like, you guys love America. You go to America on vacations when, you know, the league is growing and the league is only going to keep growing Mm -hmm. and you're going to love playing in the MLS. And so when there was a chance for me to come back to the MLS, Mm -hmm. didn't turn it down at all, I said, because it's a league that's growing. Mm -hmm. So I was in England for, you know, a year and a half, two years, and I I just made the transition to come back to the MLS, Mm -hmm. and it's grown so much. And as we all know, soccer is getting bigger and bigger in America that I would have never thought that Mm -hmm. when I first moved into the U.S. Okay. If if you were to compare, let's say, uh, you know, the premiership, Mm -hmm. Uh, versus the championship mm-hmm. versus MLS. What uh, give me some kind of uh, descriptions of what stands out in your mind from those experiences? Yeah, I, obviously not just the game itself, me, but just no, overall experience. Overall experiences, yeah. soccer, oh, okay. fo- football is mm-hmm. it's everything in England. You know, it's, yeah. it's everybody worship not just maybe just in England, but so the Premiership. It's okay. the best league in the world okay. by far to me, and that's what it is. It. And then we come to the championship, which I've played. I played for Middlesbrough in the championship. Mm. The championship is compared to be the hardest uh, uh, league in the world. You know, so not the Premier League is the best league, but yeah. championship is supposed to be the hardest league because of the the, the promotion and the physicality mm-hmm. of the league. Mm-hmm. But MLS, to me, I have always put it on top of the championship because we have quality in MLS. Mm-hmm. You know seeing the growth of soccer and how it's gone Mm -hmm. it's so amazing to just the championship is just this repetition of it's rough it's Mm -hmm. brutal people are getting kicked hard and you know refs just let it go because guess what that's the championship Mm -hmm. but we're actually playing better soccer in mls than the championship so when it goes premier league i go mls before i go championship interesting okay